Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to unbox and review SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. It comes with NVMe solid state drive for high speed data transfer. Read speed is 1050 megabytes per second, and write speed is 1000 megabytes per second. Also, it carries an IP55 rating for water and dust resistance. Let's open the box and find out the box contents. This is our tiny 1TB portable SSD. The front is plastic with a pattern of dots, and the rear has a rubberized texture for grip. The highlight of course is the orange rimmed cutout in one corner which immediately grabs attention. It looks like a carabiner clip that could be used to hook this SSD onto a bag or belt. It is also fairly shock resistant as it will withstand a drop of 2 meters on a concrete floor without major damage. This is the user manual. It comes with a lengthy 5 years warranty, which is great. And we also get a tiny USB Type-C cable. They also included a Type-C to USB Type-A adapter for using this drive with desktops and laptops. With Type-C port this portable SSD can be used directly with smartphones and tablets. Make sure you enable OTG from settings, else your tablet or smartphone may not detect this portable disk. While using this drive with computer, I have noticed that it does not provide good speed with USB 2 and USB 3 ports. To get its advertised speed of 1050 megabytes, you must connect it to a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port or Thunderbolt Type-C port. Surprisingly, there is no lead to tell you when the drive is actively in use. The Extreme Portable SSD comes pre-formatted as an XFIT device, which means that it can work on Windows and Mac out of the box. You also get a copy of SanDisk Secure Access 3.02 software that allows you to create a password-protected folder or private vault to store all your sensitive files using 128-bit A's encryption. Being small, fast, lightweight, and durable, this portable SSD is a great backup device for photographers, videographers, and road warriors who may need to transfer many gigabytes in a pinch.